Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to my top seven meta loadouts for Call of Duty Warzone right now. These are the best of the best. The loadouts that you want to be using if you want to get the most wins and kills that you possibly can. These are the loadouts that the pro players are using in kill races and private match tournaments. So make sure that you unlock all these weapons and attachments so you can do the best that you possibly can in Warzone. But first, a big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Wargaming, who have an incredible opportunity for you as they want you to get involved and playtest their brand new, upcoming, unreleased first person shooter and provide your feedback. You can have a direct impact on the release of a future game. All you have to do is follow the link down in the description below and get involved in the play test that's happening between the 29th of July and the 1st of August and then provide your feedback. There are just a couple of things I can tell you though. It's a first person squad based shooter and that play test is happening. You do need to be over the age of 18 and be within Europe to get involved, but trust me, get involved, provide your feedback. I'm also going to be doing the exact same. It's going to be a great experience. So go down, sign up with your Wargaming account, register, and I'll see you there. So the first meta loadout that we're going to be checking out is the Krig with the MAC-10. This is an incredible all-round loadout for Warzone that's going to get you a lot of kills. The Krig, one of the best assault rifles in the game right now. And then the MAC-10 is also one of the most forgiving and allows you to get those really fast time to kills a lot more consistently than some of the other slower fire rate SMGs in the game. Now... The Krieg itself, um, on the muzzle, I run the Agency Suppressor. Now, I run this for that effective damage range, bullet velocity, and vertical recoil control. That's probably one of the most important because you either have to choose the Agency Suppressor or the Sound Suppressor. Um, and the, the, having that Agency, that extra bit of recoil control is going to really help you land all your shots. It really does help. The barrel, I then don't run the CMV mil spec, which a few other people run, uh, which does give you vertical, horizontal, effective damage range, and bullet velocity. I run the Ranger uh, for bullet velocity and vertical recoil control. Yes, I lose the horizontal um, recoil control, uh, but uh, and the effective damage range increase. But if you look at the cons, I only lose aim, walking, movement speed, and hip fire accuracy. Mil spec is going to drop down my aim down sight speed, sprinting move speed, aim, walking, movement speed. The cons actually are far bigger than the benefits. So the range barrel is going to be the best option for you with the Krig. I've then got the field agent grip for vertical and horizontal recoil control. Stagnag 60 round and then the actual arms three times. That's just what I like to use on my assault rifles now. Remember, you can go ahead and change your reticles. Uh, recently, I've actually started being to use um, the central uh, <laughs> the central reticle. Because, you know, very central. It's got to be done, right? It has to be done. Uh, but that's all your personal preference, to be perfectly honest with you. The MAC-10... Uh, this is one of my favorites. We've got that agency suppressor for vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. Um, the MAC-10 actually has one of the fastest default aim down sight times in the game. So you don't need that sound suppressor with this. Just that extra recoil control so you can land your headshots. So it's going to give you the fastest time to kill possible. Um, and like I said, right, the MAC-10's got like over 1,000 rounds per minute fire rate. So even if you miss one or two bullets whilst correcting your aim, you're still going to get those really fast time to kill as well. If you're using something like an AK-74U, for example, which has a much lower fire rate, every bullet you miss drastically impacts that time to kill. So one of the reasons you'll see the MAC-10 used by most pro players um, and then on the rest of that loadout, 5.9 Task Force Barrel for the extra strafe speed, bullet velocity and effective damage range. Tiger Team Spotlight uh, for that movement speed increase and aim walking movement speed. And then the Raider Stock uh, for that faster ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire time. And now I like to use the 53 round mag so I can take out multiple opponents at a time. Because remember, you're going to go through that clip pretty quickly because of the very high fire rate. Then EOD, Overkill, Amp, C4, and a Heartbeat Sensor. That's pretty much the majority of the uh, like perk and lethal and tactical setups for these loadouts. Next, we've got my second Assault Rifle Meta loadout. Um, the C58 took a big nerf to the 4 times optic. Well, it wasn't kind of a nerf. It kind of just lined it up with the rest of the, like, the other optics in the game. Still usable, but a lot harder to control. Better on mouse and keyboard than on controller, in my opinion. However, with the actual arms three times, this is still incredible. Best assault rifle out there for raw damage output. If you land your shots, you're going to be dropping people very, very quickly, especially with headshots. Agency suppressor to make sure you get those time to kills at the furthest distances possible. Um, then the 18.5 task force, just to give that your recoil control. That is very, very important. It's one of the reasons I'm running that agency as well, um, just because then you've got that horizontal and vertical recoil control. 
field agent grip for vertical and horizontal recoil, the actual arms three times rather than the four times, and I run the 45 round drum mag uh, rather than the 55 because I don't want to penalize my aim down sight time because as I'm running the agency suppressor, there's nothing on this assault rifle to increase your ADS. So if you've got that 55 round, you'll notice it feels a bit sluggish and you can lose some gunfights off the back of it. So don't do that. Next, we've got the Bullfrog. You can put the Mac 10 in here if you want to, but the Bullfrog is a very high skill curve weapon. If you're landing your headshots, you get very fast time to kill. If you're someone that aims for the chest more often and don't kind of aren't precise enough to land headshots, you probably want to stay away from the Bullfrog. However, the mobility that you gain and the speed that you can move around the map with the Bullfrog is unbelievable. Uh, I have the groove suppressors for that vertical recoil control and effective damage range because remember, I need to land those headshots to get the best time to kill. So the recoil control is very, very important to get the most um, out of the bullfrog. So I don't go for that extra um, sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. Um, it's already pretty fast anyway. Now I've got the 7.4 task force for that extra strafe speed, effective damage range, and bullet velocity, tiger team spotlight um, right there uh, for the movement speed once again. And that pairs very well with the bruise grip, which also gives us movement speed. Honestly, you turn into Usain Bolt. No one will be able to keep up with you. Perfect if you're trying to get away from opponents as well. Uh, and then we've got the KGB skeletal stock uh, for ADS fire move speed, aim will commit speed and sprint to fire time. We don't use a mag with this because you still get a 50 round mag, which is enough um, as it's still got a pretty steady fire rate. Uh, and honestly, absolutely shreds. You see quite a few top players using this. Just remember, you need to be getting those headshots. Perks, lethals, tacticals, the same. And now I want to move on to my sniper loadout. But a little, little big, bit of thing to talk about with snipers. These are becoming more and more meta as the average time to kill has increased. You'll notice top snipers are becoming crucial um, to a squad. And if you watch things like World Series Warzone or private match tournaments, you'll notice that almost everyone uses a sniper because having the ability to get that one shot down and take down someone in a squad is huge, especially when people are transitioning um, during circle claps. Uh, it is a big, big advantage to learn how to snipe. It's a big, it's like, it will help you win a lot more matches. Swiss K31, my personal choice right now. Um, Gru suppressor on there. Uh, for the effective damage range um, and sound suppression, bullet velocity and effective damage range, 24.9 combat recon barrel, best barrel out there, SWAT 5 MW laser for better aiming stability and aim down sight time. Aiming stability is very important because it means that when you center your crosshairs, you can take advantage of uh, controller aim assist a lot easier and just snap and quick scope someone in the head. Um, it's why some controller snipers are unbelievably talented uh, at taking people down quickly. Then the bruiser grip is movement speed and aiming stability, so you can get around quickly. And then that serpent grip is just to help with that ADS speed. Um, brilliant, brilliant sniper. I have so much fun with this. And I've put an SMG that I think is heavily underrated, but one of the best weapons in the game right now, um, the PPSH. And this is super mobile, very much like the, um, the Bullfrog, but you've got the sound suppressor on there because otherwise it is a bit sluggish. Um, but aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, bullet velocity and sound suppression. Tiger Team Spotlight and Bruiser Grip for that movement speed combination and faster uh, aim down walking speed. The Raider Stock, so you can come out sprint to fire quicker. And then you've got that 71 round drum. This in like trios and quads just mows people down. And because SMGs now only have two damage profiles, you can just take, take people down at a distance quite comfortably with like a 900 round per minute fire rate. Uh, it's actually unbelievable, to be perfectly honest with you. I expect to see this being used in Warzone a lot more very, very soon. Um, and then that is my, my sniper meta class. We've then got my meta... LMG class. You can switch the Milano out for the PPSH if you want, but you need a high mobility uh, SMG. So either the Bullfrog, the Milano, which I'll show you in just a second, or that PPSH. Now the Stoner, uh, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I've been using it on stream for the past couple of days and it just beams. Like you lose the mobility with it because it's an LMG and it's got a, um, it's open bolt delay is quite big compared to assault rifles. But if you just lock in down a position, you can just take multiple waves of people out and just keep people uh, down, especially the four times on the C58. This has kind of emerged as that long range kind of weapon now of autom automatic weapon, so to speak. Agency suppressor, 21.8 task force barrel, um, just for the recoil control. Field agent grip to control that recoil once again. The 120 round mag, um, just so you can take out a lot of people between reloads. And then that Royal and Cross four time scope. And as I said, right, I'm using the central reticle on this thing. Uh, it's because, you know, Benny, Benny Central, it has to be done. It has to be done. Um, but Low mobility, 
a lot of stopping power. If you're like holding down like a gas claps or just like a, a rooftop, one of the best guns in the game right now. Do not underestimate it. And then we've got the Milano. The Milano, incredible weapon. Agency suppressor. Very, very sorry about that. But the agency suppressor, um, just for that extra recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range, because this is a multi-purpose SMG. Very good at like mid-range as well. So you could take people down, but good at close range if you land your shots. Faster time to kills than um, a lot of the other SMGs in the game. Uh, Tiger Team Spotlight on there for the mobility. We do that combination again. Bruiser, Tiger Team. Barrels have become less and less important for a lot of SMGs now um, because of that two damage profile update. But that Tiger Team Spotlight, Bruiser Grip, 55 round mag, and the Raider Stock. That's a really great combination. Then if we move on to my third assault rifle loadout, um, it's that C58 that we saw earlier. Um, then I pair it with the Modern Warfare MP5. One of the best SMGs in the game right now. Um, if you don't want to use the high mobility SMGs, Monolithic Integral Suppressor, 5MW Laser, Merc 4 Grip, 45 round mag, and Sleight of Hand. I use Sleight of Hand personally rather than Stipple Grip Tape um, just because in trios and quads, I want to get that reload off as quickly as possible and then I can like kind of hit fire and kind of re-engage opponents a little bit quicker. It's very uh, aggressive. If you play a little bit slower, maybe maybe use Stipple Grip Tape there instead. Um, but I love this loadout as well. So it's kind of like personal preference if you want to be using the Krig or the C58 and then one of those SMGs that you've seen. I then have a Meta Ghost loadout. I've put that Krig that we saw earlier just as your assault rifle choice whatever you're using as your assault rifle you use this um but we have a new best secondary weapon the m19 pistols was playing with wars and he was just running into rooms with these things taking down entire squads of four with a single clip the damage output is unbelievable though as a note if you are running these you need to make sure that you don't have auto tax sprint because you're hip firing effectively. Um, you need to be able to just pull your triggers quickly and not enter auto tax sprint. If you do that, um, it's going to be all over the place. It's not pretty, just as a uh, warning. So if you do he go ahead and decide to use this class, make sure you change your uh, turn your auto tax sprint off. But monolithic suppressor, 5MW laser, lightweight trigger, 32 round mag, and then a Kimbo. Brilliant, brilliant weapon. Then uh, my final meta loadout I want to show you is my meta solo loadout. This has actually got the fastest time to kill in the game right now. The AS Val 30 round mag uh, stops it from being a trio or quad weapon, but in solos and duos, very, 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 very good. Like it's just, it beams to be perfectly honest with you. You've got, it's got an inbuilt suppressor in there as well, which allows you to use five other attachments. So you've got the VLK 200 millimeter OSA for damage range and bullet velocity. Tack laser for faster ADS, AD, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. VLK Shrelock for recoil control, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Pretty just turns this into a laser beam so you can snap onto an opponent, line up the headshot and get some of the most ridiculous kills you will ever have in Warzone. 30 round mag and then stipple grip tape just to give you uh, that faster aim down sight speed uh, and sprint to fire speed. But those are my top seven meta loadouts right now. These are what I use if I'm trying to get the most kills that I possibly can in Warzone. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and which ones you're going to be using. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.